Watch. Over the next several months, we're helping you get back to business in our series called The Rebound Las Vegas. More than 200,000 Americans have now died from the coronavirus. And even those who are surviving from COVID are suddenly dealing with debilitating symptoms that don't seem to go away. Scripps reporter Chris Conti takes a closer look at just what's happening. As a guy who is typically used to running races and getting dirty, Sean Stevens was a picture of perfect health. I've never gotten sick. I just don't get sick. That shock came in March. First a cough, then came the fever. It was like nothing this 53-year-old had ever felt before. I just fell off the cliff, man. I just, I was in the fetal position most of the night that night. As you can probably guess, it was COVID. My lungs, I mean, if I tried to walk upstairs quicker than normal, I'd have to stop. I mean, my lungs just took forever to bounce back. But then something happened, or rather didn't happen. Sean wasn't getting better and still ending up at the doctors. Six months later, this lifelong athlete now has high blood pressure. My blood pressure, if I don't take my medicine every day, it goes up to 198 over 126 is the highest. I've never had high blood pressure. Sean has become part of a new kind of COVID patient, the so-called long hauler. People across the country who are suffering from symptoms months after their diagnosis. We don't know how long it's going to take them to recover, but if we do nothing, it's going to take a lot longer. Dr. Dana McCarthy is a physician at Mount Sinai Hospital. She and other doctors are trying to figure out what's happening to COVID long haulers. Thousands of people are currently on the hospital's waiting list looking for help. It's a very vulnerable patient population, uh, one that didn't ask for this to ha happen to them, right, and now can't get their, their health care needs met. Some of the symptoms long haulers are facing, shortness of breath, chest pain that resembles a heart attack, memory loss issues, and severe exhaustion. And most of these patients are between the ages of 20 and 40. There is a lot of patients in this country who are suffering tremendously from this, and they're young patients. I now feel like I have to take medicine to stay alive. Having blood pressure at my level puts me at a really high risk for stroke and heart attack. That's not the flu, man. For people like Sean Stevens, COVID has become a diagnosis they can't escape. I'm Chris Conti reporting.